What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. Welcome to another Fells Barn episode here on the PC. Do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. How's it going? And welcome in. If you guys remember last time, I was saying that I'm going to be recording differently. So, this is the first video that I'm recording differently. So, if there's any little, little issues, whatever, just bear with me on this. We'll get them figured out, we'll get them straightened up. Here in the next couple videos, guys, we have 666. I didn't realize that till right now. 666. 100, $666,000. Uh, as promised in the last video, we're going to be selling our, uh, our, our hay equipment. So that's what we're going to do this time, guys. Uh, if you repair it, you do get a little bit more money for it. But I don't think it's really worth it. Maybe it's just me. I don't know, because that's like not that when you spend 120, you get you get basically what you put back into it. So whatever, it is what it is. But we're gonna sell it all off here. They have not fixed the problem, have they? Where you can just like, well, they have. I need to quit. It's a habit from 15 to where you or from 17, where you have to like go in and out of the whole sell thing. But you don't have to do that anymore apparently. So it's all good. So what are we at now? 824 thousand uh, dollars. I had actually talked about I should have brought it with me. Let's just see if we can make it happen first. Uh, in the last video, you guys know I was talking about a combine. It'd be very nice to have a second combine, a bigger combine of sorts, let's say. Oh, do we go with the JD? Do we go with a JD, guys? This is a, it's a small, small tank, but big frame combine. I think we might have to go with the JD. I mean, it's not, it's not actually, never mind. It's only like a little bit. It's smaller than the ideal, of course, but I kind of like the idea of going with the JD. It's a much larger head. We have money right now. Let's, let's just, let's just send it. Let's just send it, guys. And honestly, I don't know. Is it worth 20 grand? Is it worth, it's worth 10 grand to do that, but is it worth 20 grand to do that? I kind of think I'm going to leave it just bare singles right now, and we'll customize that later, because I'm all about the money game right now, guys. Oh, I did not anticipate buying that big of a combine. <laughs> I can tell you guys that right now, I really did not anticipate buying that big of a combine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the JD head for it, um, just because, you know, it's the proper head for the combine. So we're going to do that. Is there a JD auger wagon? Or not an auger wagon. Uh, I feel like on this map, on this map, and normally I wouldn't do this, but we need, I kind of think we need a header cart, honestly, and we would have to go with, I guess this one here. I mean, for eight grand. Although, once we get our header home, we're done, but I think we really should uh, get it in the JD green, of course. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. That leaves us with a few dollars. I actually talked about getting a bigger cultivator. Okay, a bigger cultivator or a disc harrow, whatever you want to call it. Cultivators require way too much horsepower. Um, so disc harrow might just be my option here. Uh, what does that require? 400 horsepower? We need to look at our tractor too. We need to look at our tractor. We've been wanting a 7R for a long time. Is it time that we pull the trigger on it? Is it time that we pull the trigger on it? What's that bump it to? That bumps it to, we can bump it to 352. We can actually afford this right now. Um, you know me, we gotta go rear duels. Just saying. I think that looks like a pretty good tractor. Just saying, uh, 352 horsepower. Is that our biggest? 352. Yeah, 352. Let's go with the 352. It's going to be most of our money, but that's okay. Because, you know, it's just okay. Uh, so what we'll get eventually then, guys, is a bigger 352. This requires 400. Uh, we can't really get much bigger of a... Yeah, it was probably a bad purchase. <laughs> it was probably a bad purchase. But hey, we have our tractor now, guys. I've been wanting our tractor for so long. We have our tractor. We'll drive it in a second. Don't worry. Uh, we have our tractor. That's okay. That's okay. We've been wanting that thing. It's going to be good. It's going to be good for us. Uh, we could, you know what? Being the size combine that we just purchased, we can probably sell our little combine. And maybe our tipper. And upgrade tippers. 
if nothing else, upgrade tippers and put it on the 7R probably. So uh, let's get some field work going. That's what we really need to do is get some field work going. Where's our, okay, cultivators there. We're going to put the, you know, we'll put the cultivator on this tractor. That's what we'll do. We could probably get, you know what? No. Yeah, it's just lag like crazy, but you know. We don't need this combine if we have the John Deere. I'm just saying, we don't need this. We just simply don't need this combine anymore. We can get by with that tipper, but we don't need this combine. <laughs> okay? We just don't need it. So let's run this down to the shop as well. We'll get rid of the combine because we have a giant combine now, which is fantastic and awesome and super cool and great. I'm really digging that. I'm not going to lie. Plus, it's so much. I hope it's faster. I don't actually know. I didn't really. I've spent some time in the John Deere, but not a ton. Not a ton of time in the old John Deere combine there. So it'll be a whole thing, I guess. But uh, it's okay. So, yeah, hopefully, guys, the uh, audio and the video are pretty synced up. Hopefully. I will, of course, check it when I edit. Uh, I've been having some issues a little bit when uh, streaming using the OBS here with my audio and video not synced up, but I did add a little bit of a delay uh, to the audio because that's what it needed was a little bit of audio delay. So I did that before hitting record on this video, and this will be the first video where I kind of get to test and just see, is it halfway synced up? Hopefully it is. Hopefully it's good. Look at what we're going from to what we're going to. Oh my goodness. If that's not a thumb, wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. If that's not a thumbnail, hang on. Turn that off. <laughs> I don't know what is. Ah, that's a screenshot. It's probably a spoiler as I punch my microphone. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I was getting all excited, you know. It's getting all excited. All right, so we're gonna get seventy-one thousand dollars back for that. And there, there goes me backing out of the circle. And twenty-one thousand dollars back for the header, which is not bad at all. So now we can probably let's look at disc arrows just because. Uh, we have, what do we have, five meters now? So, I mean, anything bigger than five meters is great. Uh, Horsepower-wise, what do we have? I've already forgotten. We have, wait, what? I thought we upgraded that. No? Is it 332? Is that all you can you, you can boost that to? I thought we just did more than that. 369, I guess that is right. Three 352. Right? 352? 332. Did I not do something right there? That seems like I did something wrong. Seems like I did something wrong. It's the 92, 7290R. Let's just go see. Did I do something wrong or is that just what it comes out to? Because engine horsepower versus PTO horsepower, that kind of stuff. Customize three, yeah, 352, okay. No, wait. 352. There was something different. Well, that's the 290R. 310R. Ah, we did that wrong. Okay. Let's customize that up. $10,000, whatever. There we go. 310R. Which gives us 200 and whatever. What was it? 200 and... No, 352. Good lord. It's probably 310 and uh, PTO horse. Uh, not PTO. Draw bar. Uh, so 350 we can go with. Okay, so in our disc arrow things, we can take something that'll take up to 350. So we can go to the Vaterstad comfortably. That's 8 meter. I would love to get up to here, but that, I think, I don't think we're going to have the horsepower for that. So if we go Vaterstad, I'd be cool with that. Actually, you know what? We're, we're a few horsepower under, but I think we're going to go with the horse. Just because we can. So we'll get the we'll get the cultivation. Whoop, I'm hitting all the buttons. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, help the old little John Deere out here. Get a John Deere um, big old weight. Because why not? You know, horse weight's always good on the front end of these tractors. It's, it's never a bad idea to have some weight on the front end, you know? And this is really kind of... I was like, what is that? It's the blinker beeper. Uh, kind of my first time messing with the 7R. That was the wrong button. <laughs> kind of my first time messing with the 7R. 
I've had the 6M, the 6R, the 8R, um, 8RT. Kind of my first time messing with the 7. I think it's going to be a decent little tractor for us for a while. But we will have to uh, wait and see how it uh, works out for us. But uh, for now, I think it's going to be pretty decent. At least I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. So let's get this thing going. We need to get some cultivation going. Uh, that's kind of the name of this game, this episode, guys. Where's my timer? Where's my timer for how long I've been recording? There is no timer. <gasps> that's not good. <laughs> Oh, there is no timer. Oh, no. How long have I been recording? I have no clue. Does it tell me in my raw videos folder? It doesn't tell me how long I've been recording. I have no idea. I think I started around four, a little after four. I don't know. Any hoozles. Oh, this thing's actually pretty massive. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be fantastic, guys. So we have to do a bunch manually. So this will be fun. <laughs> we have to do a bunch of cultivation manually. Uh, we'll have to do a bunch of seeding manually as well. So it is what it is. I don't really know where the edge of the field is over here. Not going to lie. <laughs> Not going to lie. Not going to lie. So, yeah, this is uh, this is kind of what the name of this game is. It's like, hey, let's reclaim. Let's find our field. You know what? We still have that other one, right? Let's get the 6M working, too. Let's get the 6M working for us, too. We'll put the 6M over in the other field, you see. Uh, do we need to lime anything? Uh, weeds. Okay, 17 is going to need lime as well. So... We can do it later. Let's get it cultivated first, and then we can worry about liming it later. So we'll put the 6M in the other field with the other cultivator here, our little whatever this is. Might as well get two JDs out here working together. Oh, man. Oh, it's so nice. It's lovely. It's beautiful. Love the John Deere power out here in the field together. Yeah, I gotta love it. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'll probably just record for a little bit here and then maybe cut because I honestly, I don't know how long I've been. Oh, that's loud. Loud, loud, 790, it's loud. <laughs> uh, but I'll probably just record here for a little bit, guys, because I don't actually know how long I've been recording uh, because OBS doesn't have a timer and I didn't realize that and I don't have my, uh, my I have an app on my tablet I can run. It's a timer to tablet app thing um so i'll have to run that when i record next time but yeah so we'll go do like a round around the field and then i'll probably pause the recording see where we're at maybe skip ahead of a few minutes probably not too long because i'm a little pressed for my time today but that's okay uh so far this uh john deere seems to be handling this cultivator okay i could probably use some more horsepower on it let's be real a little more ground speed would be fantastic what we're probably going to do is work on making this field square-ish after we get kind of our outside border. Yeah, we could definitely use some more horsepower. Look at this. Uh, definitely could use some more ponies under the hood. Uh, that's okay, though. You know, the John Deere kind of is going to replace the uh, that case, honestly. So that's okay. We bought too big of a cultivator, let's be honest. We really did. <laughs> but it'll do this. It'll just be a little bit slow, but yeah, the John Deere, wrong button. The John Deere is going to replace, I guess, the case uh, tractor because, uh, you know, it'll pull that cedar just fine. I would imagine we'll get a bigger tractor eventually to cultivate with. I kind of like having to cultivate. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it. I kind of, I kind of do enjoy having to cultivate. It's more realistic to where I am in real life, you know, because they pretty well cultivate here or work the dirt, I should say, in many different fashions where I'm at. So there's that. But like I was saying, I'm probably going to uh, work on making some square bits to this field so that we can hire a worker to do the rest of this. Um, there's that. There's there's that. We're going to definitely have to hire a worker here eventually. But for now, we'll just uh, run manually and, like I said, work on making it square because this field is very... Very odd shape, and <laughs> this field is very crooked and stuff. But uh, that is okay, and we're going to struggle going up hills a little bit, but that's all right as well. 
yeah, definitely could use some more horsepower with this cultivator. I actually really like this cultivator. I think it looks really good. Um, I'm digging this. It's a horse, horse uh, cultivator. I am digging it. I've got to find the edge of my field back, too. I don't remember where I've plowed besides these random paths over here in the woods. Don't mind those, by the way. Don't mind those. I, I swear I don't know what happened there. I don't. I fell asleep. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> it's a whole thing, guys. It's a whole thing. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to do some uh, manual cultivating and manual seeding to make the field square so I can hire. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. So we'll just take chunks, our, our chunks, and then work on them later and it'll be a whole thing. It'll be all good. But for now, we're going to do a couple passes around the outside of the field just to kind of find our field back. That's really what we've got to do right now is find our field back. It's a little hard with all this grass planted, but it's all good. It's all good. So, yes. So, yes. So, yes. But this is awesome. We've uh, definitely increased our potential here with getting that combine. That combine is really going to help the farm out quite a bit. Um, if nothing else, the, the harvesting will go so much faster. I will have to get a bigger tipper uh, soonish or maybe just go right to a truck. I don't know. Maybe go right to a truck and an auger wagon, small auger wagon. I don't know. You know me, I have a thing for auger wagons. Everybody that's watching this video probably knows that already. I have a bit of a thing for auger wagons. <laughs> it's kind of what I'd like to do in real life. I think driving an auger wagon would be fun. Cause like you don't have the stress of driving the combine, you know, the whole world is not on your shoulders. You know, there's a lot more to mess up driving a truck, let's say, or a combine. It's not that much. I mean, yeah, you can spill grain out of an auger wagon, but there's not as much to worry about when you're driving an auger wagon. <laughs> That's why I think it'd be kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. I think it'd be kind of fun. It is a shame, by the way. I, I kind of feel bad for cultivating in all of this grass, but... When we planted it, we set out, we had a goal when we planted, so it's okay. It is totally okay in my opinion, so it's all good, it's all good. By the time I get this field squared off, there's not going to be much left <laughs> to hire out. So what we might do is plow this together with uh, 17 over here and then try to work on like the square or most rectangle part of that. I don't know. That's why I wanted a bigger combine too. Because it'll, you know, I can square the field off so much faster, you know, by my, you know, makes sense, makes sense to me. I don't know. All right, so what we're gonna do here is this is gonna be the biggest part. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit the higher button so he drives straight across the field, and I can put my hand in my pocket and form it up. <laughs> Just saying, it's freaking cold out here. Oh god, it's been so cold here the past couple of days, but uh, that is okay. All right. So I think what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to work on cultivating and uh, stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and stop recording for a second and see where I'm at on my recording. Because, like I said, I don't know when I started. I wasn't paying attention. I forgot there was no timer in Streamlabs OBS for how long you've been recording. So there's that. So I will be right back either way. And um, there's going to be a little bit of a jump in the video. So a little bit farther ahead, just a little bit, a few minutes real time. So I'll be right back in a flash. All right, guys, we are back in. I know where I'm at. We're around the 18 minute mark, a little past 18 minutes, possibly somewhere right around there, depending on how much I cut off on the start of the video. Anyway, so I know how far we are in now and I have my tablet running in front of me with a stopwatch application. It's pretty cool. You just like tap the screen and it'll start counting. It's, it's so simple and so nice and it's awesome. Just saying. So yeah, we're going to do this uh, cultivation. Um, eventually we're going to have to do the same basic pattern here for seeding as well. Get the field uh, smoothed off as much as possible so we can hire it out. Cause that's just kind of, you know, hiring out is just better <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. It's good to do this work manually. And I know there's some people that will only do this man, you know, would only do this manually, but that's not usually me. Cause I like to be able to like, you know, I, I get more done, I feel like, if I'm not actually the one sitting here doing it. So, but that's okay. It's all good. I got nothing else to do right now but make this video for you guys and uh, plow on from there. So, yeah. So, we'll see how much of this cultivating we get done. 
probably gonna go ahead after this video, finish up the cultivation. I don't know, because I got a lime too. I don't know, maybe we'll just like show you guys not a harvest in the next video. Maybe we'll just like do this real time. Because we've got to do all this planting manually. Yeah, we'll just we'll just keep playing the game and record it. How about that? That's what we're going to do for the next video. Is just keep playing the game. And just saying. Just saying. <laughs> we might do some plowing too. We might plow the next field together as well. Make this a uh, massive field. Make one, one big field here. We might do that as well. I don't know yet. I don't know if we'll do that. Probably will, let's be honest. Probably will. Actually, what we really should do is make a big rectangle field that the hired workers can work on and then make a second rectangle field that a hire worker can work on. So basically go like, yeah, that's what we'll do. We're going to make this into two rectangle fields that the hire workers can work on and then leave the rest for like me manually kind of thing. Does that work? Kind of works for me. I don't know. I don't know. Seems like a good idea. But I'm all about, you know, trying to get the fields as square as possible for workers. Because, you know, like harvesting, it just makes more sense to me to hire a harvester than it does for me to drive it and kind of, I don't know. I mean, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Maybe we'll just do it all manually. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, you guys will find out. Keep watching the videos and, uh, <laughs> hey, we'll find out together how we're going to do all this, okay? Just saying. All I know is this is uh, a fair fair plot of land now that we have assembled here. Uh, when I, you know, taking all this grass out, it, it really starts to look like something, you know? Finally, it's like, it's all actually a fair bit of land you got there. Just saying. And I like, uh, you know, of course, 17 was this way too, but, you know, we can actually cultivate grass out and it will disappear. You don't have to... Uh, plow it anymore you know plowing grass was kind of a a thing you had to do on 15 for sure 13 those games yeah it was the whole thing so i guess we'll hire it going this way man there's like no field left there's like no field left for it to do manually or with the the thing the hired worker that's okay it's okay so from probably right up here somewhere oh man we can't can't hire it going this way because there's literally going to be nothing left uh, let's run it the other way. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really looking at laying this out, and I'm talking like grass strips and everything in between. So, all right, let's hire the worker here and let him run across the field in a straight line. I know I can use the little compass down there. It'd be 270. You know, I, I know I can do that, but it's just sometimes it's easier just to hit the old hire button. And, and watch him drive across the field very in a straight line and stuff like that. So, yeah. But no, what I'm thinking is you bring, basically, here, pull up this map. This map's a little bit better. I can use my mouse and stuff. So, you would probably plow some of 17 up here. How, how far does that go? Okay, I'd have to buy field 9. But, you, you know, I can probably plow some up here on the north side of 17, into 18 all the way to the almost to that building there okay and then you come down and you plow whatever you can here on 17 on the south side so that this is one rectangle here okay so basically from the little building up here well basically the road north of 18 across 17 down south as close as you can get to the road come across and then back up to the building make that one field and then make this as square as possible over here, or rectangle as possible, whatever. Straight lines as possible. Make this another field, and then this, and, well, it'd be this, and probably a little bit up here. Uh, just leave for me doing uh, manually every single time. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Make this into, like, two big fields. So, that's uh, that would be my theory, honestly. <laughs> that would be my theory. So, I could, I could hire out... Uh, a fair bit then, I think. That would be good. So, yeah, because like I said, I don't mind doing it manually, but at least for, like, harvest and, you know, I can run a cultivator and a planter at the same time, and I don't have to sit here and do both. Because, you know, 
it's not so bad right now because I only have the one series going, but like I asked you guys in the last video, you know, do you want to see a second series, a different Let's Play um, at the same time? You know, run two like I used to do. You know, it's up to you guys. You guys got to let me know. Uh, I've enjoyed just easing it in with, with the one. But, you know, if you guys want two, you guys run the channel, let's be honest. You guys will get two. <laughs> uh, what I'm talking about, like, up here north of 20, 8 or 19 to 20, is all this woodland here. Um, we will eventually smooth this out and, and stuff. I just, I don't have the funds to do it right now because it's... It's going to be quite a bit of money, not going to lie. So, definitely need some smoothing, as you can tell. <laughs> definitely. I wish I could get rid of that building over there and the little little uh, hunting shack or hunting stand back here, deer stand, whatever you want to call it, the lookout point in the field. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I could get rid of both of those. Like, really badly. <laughs> I really wish I could get rid of both of them. I'm not going to lie. It would be... It would be very nice if I could get rid of both of those, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I cannot do that, so there is that. It's okay, I guess, but it kind of stinks at the same time. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it kind of stinks, so it is what it is, but at least we're cultivating two fields. We do need to lime the other field. Um, we'll have to fertilize, yeah, we'll have to fertilize all of this. Uh, do we have to lime any of this? No. Okay. That's good. Uh, what we'll do is we'll fertilize. Or this is all fertilized. We will lime. No. So what we'll do is we'll fertilize over there. Then we'll lime. Then we can fertilize and then plant. And then we're done over there. Uh, over here we will plant and then fertilize. Or maybe I'll... I don't know <laughs> how I'll do it. But either way, it all needs to get fertilized. Uh, it needs to be, you know, to the darker stage. Fertilized twice. And, of course, limed, oh, lime over in the other field as well. So we'll get into all that probably next video because uh, we're nearing the end of this one now that I know where I'm at on my recordings. Yeah, <laughs> it's a whole thing. So there is that. But there's actually some land to be had over here to our left. There is some land to be had. That's why we spent all that time. And it was it was a little bit of time uh, working on the, the trees that I did over here. So, Plus, that actually actually made us a fair bit of money. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was, those were decent loads I was running up the hill, even though I had leased you know, the big trailer at first. And then I leased the uh, stump grinder, and I leased the, uh, the man truck. Even though I leased all that stuff, like I was making money off that. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Like, I could see buying, you know, a piece of property maybe over there to our left, kind of. What what parcel would that even be? That'd be something like that. And let me, let me hit my horn. Something like this parcel here. You know, I, I could see buying that for 150 grand and, like, cutting trees. Or field 16, that'd be a good one, too. All those trees. But these trees here on this parcel... What you do is you buy the parcel, you cut the trees down, and you sell the parcel. <laughs> so you get your initial money back. Land does not uh, depreciate in this game. So whatever you buy a plot for, you can sell it back for the same money. So you could totally do that. <laughs> you know, I could, I could buy a parcel with a bunch of trees on it, work like crazy to cut them all down, and then sell the parcel back. That'd be a pretty cheeky way to, <laughs> way to do it, but you know. That would be okay. That'd be okay. All right, so here's what I'm going to do, guys, because we're within our like last minute or so of uh, recording for this video. What I'm going to do, guys, is I will finish the cultivating process off video. Okay? I will finish the cultivating process off video. When we come back in the next video, we will be seeding. We will be fertilizing. We will be liming. We will be doing all of that kind of stuff in the next video. Probably going to take the whole video to do that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next one. Fertilizing, seeding, liming, putting the lime in the Coke, a nut, you nut, whatever it is. We're going to shake it all up. Don't worry. And uh, we'll probably be using the John Deere to uh, do our seeding. So that'll be uh, pretty fantastic. I'm not going to lie. It'll be something anyway, right? <laughs> And then maybe, uh, maybe lay out our other field that I'm talking about. 
I could totally see bringing in... Well, how would I do... I'd have to use a roller. I'd have to use a roller or the landscaping tool. And I think a roller, I could get straighter lines. I don't know. We'll worry about that next time. Maybe a roller. Maybe a modded roller. <laughs> cough, cough. A three-point hitch one. Because the in-game roller sucks. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway... Thank you guys for watching. We're going to go ahead and call it a video here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to finish up the cultivation. We'll be seeding, fertilizing, liming next time. Uh, probably, you know what? I'm going to make the commitment. We're going to run the fields as we have them now. We'll worry about changing them up later. But until next time, I'm your boy, John from Puma Plot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, toodles.